Yo, what's up fam, it's your boy Big Joe. We're here at UCLA, my old stomping grounds, and I got my man Russ. Just showed up to UCLA. Uh, I told some of my uh, NFL homies, some guys are still playing, some guys are just working out like myself just to keep in shape, to meet me at UCLA for a little open gym session, get a little workout in, share my fitness, love of fitness with you guys, and then maybe uh, head over to get some uh, intravenous fluids after. But we got a whole day, I can't wait to share it with you and some meet some of my friends and show uh, like uh, some fitness stuff some workouts that you could probably do at home. I don't know, we'll see, I don't know. We're kinda just making this up as we go. Uh, I got my boy Ryan Russell, Will Davis, and Kevin Arnold. He should be filming, but we're gonna get a little workout in, get a sweat in, share that with you, show you a day in the life, little vlog style, YouTube, what's up? Uh, and we might even see some puppies too. We'll just see where it goes. We'll see where the wind takes us, and it's looking pretty breezy. Ha, <laughs> YouTube, yeah! Yo, what's up fam, it's your boy Big Joe. We're here at UCLA, my old stomping grounds, and I got my man Russ. We're gonna get a little workout. I don't wanna move too much because I'm gonna get blown out. But we're gonna a little workout, we wanna share it with you. It's not gonna be too crazy, but it's something you could do by yourself and get buff like us. We're gonna call this maybe Workout Buddy Wednesday. I don't know, we're gonna see how many we could do. We got my man Kevin Arnold. He's my buddy every week. Russ, my buddy this week. And we're gonna have a new buddy every week to work out with. Cause this is a fucking lifestyle we're doing. We're gonna go to different gyms, we're gonna go to UCLA, different group fitness classes, and we're gonna share with you how great it is to stay fit in LA and why it's good for your mind, your health, and your overall well-being. It's your boy Big Joe, we're just getting started. Came through dripping aquafina, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Flow make bitches, I'm my my bitch. Stack chicken like what it's going All right, so we're just getting crazy with it. Thought we should throw some weight vests on for the run. We'll keep them on for the deadlift too. Why take them off for the whole workout? Hey, let's go. Crew in the cut, hey, you want us to run when I tell a bit peace. Love is love. Me and Russ put on some weight vests, if you can see. What are you, like 25, 30 pounds? Yeah. I don't know, but I feel big. And we're going to get four sets of eight deadlift with a 100, wait, 200 yard. <laughs> run in between with some nice engaging <laughs> plank high fives which you have to say an affirmation each each high five you're great he's great all right let's go love is love Adi, no. bend up bend up with the switch again boy deliver like he happening call with they just give him estimates Summer sauce for my baby. Hey, but you're the man. You're yeah. here. You said yes because you're just a good friend. No, you're a good yes, person. Because you're amazing. Oh, I know you're amazing. You're awesome. Oh, you're awesome. You're the best. Are we almost done? Uh, three, I'm not sure we're counting. <laughs> two. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. So my man Russ is not only an NFL player. That's how we met. That's how we got to know each other via Instagram. But this so. Purdue grad, this Purdue grad, graduate right here, also just wrote a book. My man here is a poet. Russ, tell me about your love of fitness and how it might have been, be correlated to your love of writing. Definitely. I mean, because fitness, that's physical health, you know, make sure your heart's working, your lungs working, everything, your body feels like right good. right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's good work. Uh, writing is more for, you know, the mental health, the mental aspect. And it helps with the game, it helps with just overall fitness, just waking up and putting your thoughts to paper realizing your goals, realizing the, the message you want to convey, really the message you want to live. Mm -hmm. So they go hand in hand, man. Your body feeling good. And no matter how great you look, how great your body feel, if your mind not right, you're not going to be happy. Have you ever thought of like when we were like seeing the, the most results, whether it be in college or in the NFL, everything was written down and there's some, some power mm -hmm. in writing your goals down or your thoughts down for sure, or your dreams down or anything down. They cast spells and they create manifesting real life and your goals and all that stuff and actually really happen. For sure. Have you seen that happen in your life? Yeah, definitely. It's all about manifesting what you want. Like you said, even the freaking reps, it says 10, you're going to hit 10. You know, someone just telling you, oh, do eight, whatever. You might do six, you might do seven. The same with your dreams. You see right now every day, you know, I'm going to write or I'm going to be a published author. I'm going to be an actor, you know, whatever it is. You write it down, that's already the first step. You're already putting physical action to it. You're already making it happen. So it's just all, it's your brain, man. It's the most powerful thing. But a lot of people fight against their brain. Yeah. Instead of making it their, their allies, their worst enemy. And they're creating a conflict within. 
and we don't have any conflict with him because we got one more set of this run. Only conflict we got is my lungs. My lungs right now with this shit. Some dumb shit. Watch how I move, cause I know the brink's coming. Watch for the blues, cause I know that they dumping. Nothing in my view, so it's hush on discussion. Hush on discussions, you know what you need to. I keep it in the fam to let you know that I don't need you. Y'all cats be secret, head not to peace. You been king, I'm regal, got it in my abyssal. Alright, so this is why I love my friends and I love how this YouTube thing is gonna work out. You know, my man Russ, he had to go home. So he could write some more. But guess what? My main man, Willie D, which you'll probably see in a bunch of these YouTube videos, is gonna get hydrated with me and film it. And uh, we're bringing Rufio too. I wonder if they give dogs IVs. All right, but anyways, we're going to hydration room, get that drip drip. Um, we'll see how it goes. So I met these fine people at this reset event my friend put on a few months ago and they keep inviting me to come by to get hydrated. This is one of my favorite things to do before games, before NFL games, because that's where I played professional football. Uh -huh. Well, you know, behind the camera, I played in the NFL too. Get these real quick before you, uh, instead of drinking a bunch of water and peeing everywhere, this goes straight into your blood. Let me get some B12 shots and tour it all. We're gonna make it sure I feel better. I love it. The I mean, the fitness recovery sounds like the most plausible with literally what we just came from. Yeah, fitness recovery. Get the lactic, lactic acid out. Thank you, hydration room. This is only the beginning. We're gonna get this channel off the ground and it can't be done without you guys. So like, subscribe, follow, I don't know, all that shit. Do it, tell your friends, tag, collab. We're gonna do it all. This is only the beginning. Big Joe Show. Ha!